I've been involved with Soundscape for six years now. And um, what is amazing to me is that the aesthetic range of this festival is fantastic. It's not just um, one kind of style. It's not just avant-garde. It's not just experimental. It's sort of all-encompassing. I love this festival because of this range and the openness of the students and the faculty. You know, it's fantastic. And I also have to say that it's inspiring to be around these kinds of players and these kinds of students that care deeply about this music. The idea behind the Soundscape Festival is that performance and composition are equal. Equal in the importance they have for each other and the artistic process. It's the place where you can experience the, an extremely broad spectrum of musical style and thought. Uh, you can really get a taste of many different ways of approaching what we do. Uh, there are so many different composers come in at different levels and uh, from different backgrounds artistically uh, that, I mean, not, not that you should be a, a cafeteria tray composer and take little bits from everybody, but it's just wonderful to see what other people are up to, what their processes are, uh, how people create, uh, and that, that can always be an extremely broadening experience. We have improvisation ensemble every day. We have daily lessons. We have um, concerts every night. We have readings. It's really geared towards the students. They get all this feedback all the time. And we're on hand um, at any moment to answer any questions or to help them. We're deliberately small because um, then we can make sure we get hands-on contact with everybody. The faculty is involved with the students at all stages of the process here. Composers do some composition on site, we read their sketches, um, we dine with them, we have meals with them, uh, we cook food together because we have this you know, wonderful kind of common environment. Uh, it's two weeks of very intense work and a lot of fun and the location really is facilitating that as well. So it's, um, it's beautiful and, and you always walk away with new friends. So this idea of exchange of, of, of ideas between composers and performers who absolutely must work real close you know, in contemporary music. That was one of the main draws. One of my favorite moments, um, top of the top of my head, was when Tony Arnold was giving her talk on how to write for the voice. It was kind of fabulous because, um, you know, she's voice faculty and I'm a cellist, but I got to listen to how well the two relate in like every way. She'd talk about the breath and it would make absolute sense for the bow. and. She talked about, you know, noise and high notes, and I could, like, I have that noise all the time, and just hearing how much you could learn just from any discipline, which has been a nice thing in general about here, that all the disciplines are learning from each other, and um, just exploring and applying it to yourself in a new way, which has been really fascinating. If you're a composer, there are loads of performers that are willing to help and play your music. Like I've had random run-throughs of some of my other stuff that I haven't had performed. Um, and then you've got the, the performers who are willing to sit down and go, this is what I can do. This is what I can personally do. This is what I know everyone can do. So there's that end of the learning experience. Then there's, for performers, asking composers, can you write this for me or do a sketch? So it's an all-encompassing kind of collaboration for ten, 10 days, essentially. I think this kind of international exchange in such a small scale, it really sort of brings a really sort of organic way of processing and to make something that's sort of um, lasting in our memory. So when I walk away from here, I feel like that I have made friends for a lifetime. And when I come back next year, it's like I have only seen them last week, and I think that's fantastic.